Cash basis versus accrual basis accounting. Which one is better? The answer is, it depends. It depends on your business needs. The difference between the two is the timing of when you record income and expenses on your books. Let's start with cash basis. Cash basis is exactly as it's described. Your books are based on the cash activity. You track when money came in and money went out. You're going to record the revenue when you make a deposit. And you're going to record an expense when you pay a bill. That doesn't give you complete insight into the economics of your company. It doesn't show you if you're making money, I mean making profits. It shows you if you brought in more cash than you went out. Think of it like checkbook accounting. At the end of the month, you reconcile your bank statement and whatever's in the bank account, that's get what gets recorded on the books. It's the simplest form of accounting. But it doesn't necessarily show you an accurate reflection of the economics of your company because the accounting depends on the timing. The timing of cash, if it equals the health of your business, cash basis can work. But if the timing doesn't reflect the economics of your business, then you need to go to accrual basis accounting. A cruel basis of accounting uses the matching principle in which you're going to match the income that was earned with the expenses that were incurred to generate that income in the same period, regardless of the timing of when you paid a bill or whether you paid payroll. This is more complex than cash basis accounting, but it's the only true way to be able to see the true economic health of your company. The way you do it is entries are made to close out the books at the end of the month. They're called accruals, accrual entries, and you're going to accrue the revenue that was earned regardless of whether you were paid. At the end of the month, you look at the work that was in progress and you make an adjusting entry to record that percentage of completion. Even if you haven't been paid by the client, you recognize the revenue that was earned each month. The same thing you do with expenses. You accrue the expenses regardless of the timing of when you paid that bill. This is what allows for a more accurate profit and loss. Instead of having fluctuations based on the timing of when money comes in or how many payrolls you've got, you see a true economic picture every month using the accrual method of accounting. Now, if cash flow is an issue, you still need to be able to see cash flow forecasts. And you need to study things like days sales outstanding so you can see where problems exist. You always want to see how much money you've got in the bank at any time. So by moving to a cruel basis of accounting doesn't mean that you don't have your fingers on your cashes, cash flow and your cash forecasts. For tax purposes, most of our clients will stick with cash basis because you don't want to pay taxes on money you didn't yet received. So in summary, you really decide which one is better for you based on the needs of your business. It's important to look at both cash forecasting and cash balances and accrual basis for management reporting to give you a better view of your profitability, to be able to show you the actual profit and loss by customer, by job, by team, by whatever way you want to make decisions and see the overall economics, use the accrual basis of accounting.